What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of the uh, 8th edition um, updates that are coming out on our look at them and as we look at them. And uh, today's another faction focus on the Astra Militarum. And I've, I've printed that out, I have not read through it yet, I promise you. Uh, but the last time we did this, it was the last faction focus was Chaos Space Marines. And I believe the chap was called Frankie, I think he was called. So it'll probably be in the same vein as that if you've watched that one already. So it says, who is Reese and why should I care? Yeah, so he probably knows Frankie, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, Reese helps runs. <laughs> Reese helps runs. That's what it says. That's the way it's printed. Uh, I'll try to correct it as I go. Reese helps run some of the biggest independent Warhammer 40,000 events in the world including the Las Vegas Open and the recently announced Southern California Open, like Frankie. I was about to say that. He's also been part of the playtest team for the new edition of Warhammer 40,000, putting in hundreds of hours to make sure this new edition will be great for all you gamers out there. Thanks, Reese. What a great job that would be, playtesting play testing of games of this ilk. Oh, I would love to do that. Uh, hey, if there's any companies out there that want a playtester, I'm your man. Anyway, let's get him back to this. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to Warhammer 40,000, so let's see what he has to say. Faction focus. Listen up, guardsmen. Rhesius here to talk to you about the Astra Militarum and the new version of Warhammer 40,000. If your heart beats to the rhythm of boots marching and you love the smell of Prometheum in the morning, then this article is for you. Okay, sounding good. The Astra Militarum have a long and storied history. They're comprised of, na of nameless, faceless billions of brave souls that take up arms in defense of the Imperium. You have to love the idea of a human having the guts to go toe to toe with the myriad horrors of the 41st millennium has to offer. Armed only with a trusty lasgun and faith of the Emperor. There's a little picture there, you can't see it, but a lot of Imperial Guardsmen there. Currently, Astra Militarum forces often take to the field with big, sprawling infantry platoons, sporting numerous attached characters to give them bonuses, or at the other end of the scale, as largely mobilised tank armies firing massive guns and obliterating the enemy. This combination of hordes of men and powerful machines is a distinctive aspect of the Astra Militarum, play style. However, at the moment they don't always play on the tabletop the way they're represented in the background. Wouldn't it be awesome if some of those units you so rarely see, like Scout Sentinels, were suddenly not only good but great? Yeah. What if Bulgrims and Rough Riders were actually scary in combat? Actually I want some Bulgrims for my army. They look they do look the business. It's they look the part. That's um, you know one of the things that's drawn me to them. But if they're, if they're going to be better, then I think that's sealed the deal. How about heavy weapons squads that actually provide covering fire to the rest of your men instead of just acting as distractions for enemy units? That sounds good too. I'm here to tell you that all of these things are true in the new edition. Well, that's good news again. There's a picture of some Bulgrins there, I believe. Um... Not that you'll see it, but but yeah, uh, that is all good news. I I would I would say. Okay, so continuing, and the hype train just rolls on. Veterans are now veterans now are truly seasoned warriors. That while no adeptus status, are soldiers to be respected. Your squads will no longer pop out of their chimera, shoot one thing, and then die or run away immediately after the enemy returns fire. Nope. Now, with the added encouraging presence of a nearby Commissar, which limits the losses of a bad morale test, Astra Militarum are downright stalwart, even rattlings with their sniper weapons, allowing them to pick out and target characters, will now be reaping a tally your enemy's leaders in the name of the Emperor. Rattlings? good uh, I got a commissar I ain't finished painting him yet but uh, sooner I get him done the better by the sounds of it but that's not all about the ground pounders no sorry 
but it's not all about the ground pounders. Uh, the tanks of the Imperium have had um, have had a rough go of it in the current version of the Warhammer 40,000 rule set, prone to getting destroyed in one shot or ingloriously throwing a tread going over a bush, but no longer. The tanks are back and better than ever. Lehman Russes, for example, have toughness 8 and a 3 plus C, so they won't be slowing down until they've lost half of their 12 wounds. Wow. 12 wounds. Nice. The tanks of the Imperial Guard will definitely be making their mark on battlefields across the Imperium. 12 wounds. I think possibly, given that... Um, hmm. I'm sure it's been okay playtested. It, it sounds like they should have more, though, if that's the way they're doing the new profiles now. Because um, I think, like, Imperial Knight has a, a dozen... Or at least a dozen wounds, so a tank should have more, I feel. But we'll see how it goes. There's so much more to say. Those of you who are long-time Astra Militarum players like me are going to be thrilled with what is coming. Models you haven't used in ages, or perhaps those you've had your eye on for years, will now be shining stars in your collection. But here's one last little tidbit for you as no conversation about the guard would be complete without mentioning orders. One of the Astra Militarum's most well-known rules mechanics. Orders work automatically now and provide a variety of bonuses. Automatically. You have seven to choose from. But the one I want to discuss is first rank fire, second rank fire. This now makes a unit of Astra Militarum infantry treat their lasguns and hotshot lasguns as rapid fire too. That's four shots per guardsman at half range. Combined with the fact that every weapon has a chance to hit any target, the much derided lasgun can now be the deadly laser weapon the Emperor's armies need. That'll be all. Dismissed. Wow. Order's automatic, eh? That's good. So it would seem, on paper, at least that the Astra Militarum are going to be a lot more uh, versatile on the tabletop now which is good news for Astra Militarum players certainly but it's hopeful I wonder what the next if there's going to be another uh, faction focus I, I would dearly love to see a faction focus on orcs see if we can get um, something like that. I'm sure there'll be something but um, yeah it is looking good for the Horde army um, to date. So, fingers crossed it will remain that way. Um, so, that's two people that have, it's mentioned now that have play tested the, uh, the new rule set and have spent a long time doing it. And they help run um, independent Warhammer 40,000 events w uh, worldwide. So, they must know what they're talking about. Am I worried that it's like um, tournament people that are play testing? No, not really. Not really. I think. I think it's. I think that's. That's right. I mean, maybe they have other play testers as well, um, like the more narrative kind of gamer. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've certainly noticed some YouTubers. Uh, oddly absent on their channels of late. Wonder if wonder if they have any saying it as well. That would be good to throw it out, to really throw it out to the community. Um, yeah, well, but from what I've seen here, it does sound like they've fought it through. Uh, fought it through play tested and it obviously works and works well so bullgrins eh? rattlings eh? hmm yes I think my Astra Militarum army is going to grow as well as my chaos army uh, I'm gonna be well and truly broke at this rate but anyway thanks for joining me on this uh, faction focus Astra Militarum um, I hope to see you in the next video. Remember, all brushes lead to war. And uh, goodbye for now, folks. Bye-bye.